hello good morning welcome back to another vlog i'm trying to decide what i want to wear to work today i am going to be at the salon and i'm doing highlights and a dark root color i always try to consider what i'm going to be doing that day and then base my outfit on that just because if i know i'm going to be doing something that could potentially get pretty messy then I want to make sure I'm wearing clothes that, you know, I don't mind if they get stained. Because with the real messy appointments, even if I wear an apron, stuff will find its way on my clothes anyway. And then, you know, you have to take into consideration the weather. It is supposed to be like 90 degrees today. And knowing the salon where I work, that means the AC is going to be blasting. So even though it'll be 90 degrees outside, inside I should probably dress like it's fall. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna do, have this like midi bodycon skirt and then kind of tuck this. It's a little bit of like a boxier kind of oversized fit. So I like the balance of like something tight with something loose. And then I'm thinking maybe these white cowboy boots would be cute with it. Although doing a dark color, these might be risky. I have dark cowboy boots maybe i would be safer wearing these today but i feel like that'll be good because then i will be comfy as well which is super important so let's get ready i'm gonna be honest i'm not really in the mood to do like a full face of makeup so i'm just gonna do kind of like my light natural no makeup makeup today should be a good day though i'm not going in until one which is nice love these days because I had the whole morning to get other work done. And oh my god, it is just a really busy time right now behind the scenes. Not only am I super busy at the salon, which is so good. And then I am also working on other business things, business ventures that I am so excited about. But it's like... It's something that I've been thinking about and like kind of planning for for a while now But I wasn't really sure like when or if it was gonna happen and now it's kind of like All happening very quickly. I can't tell you exactly what it is just yet But just know that I will fill you in on every little detail Very soon. It's just a lot of really good things and I feel like it's just going to kind of open the door for so many more opportunities. And I'm just excited to like take things to the next level. I feel like at the beginning of my career, I was so inspired and I had all these new ideas and I was like trying to pursue these different things and just build and grow. And then I got to a point where I got a little bit complacent, to be honest, and I feel like I almost moved a few steps backwards in some ways when I first moved down to North Carolina and like I had you know taken a break from hair and stuff and was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do if I was still passionate about this industry but that flame has been reignited big time I'm just so excited but also exhausted I'm not gonna lie like it's just been a lot and I'm one of those people that when I am feeling really creative and I'm excited about something, I cannot turn it off and calm down. Like, I have had such a hard time sleeping the last few nights because my brain just won't turn off. Like, I take magnesium, drink tea before bed. Like, I try all these things to, like, wind down, but I just can't because I just have all these ideas and all these things that I'm thinking of. Like, okay, what do I need to do next? And what am, what about this but it's just it's all such good things and i'm so excited but i'm hoping that today will be a pretty easy smooth day and hopefully not a really long day i feel like i've been having a lot of days where i have been at the salon very late at night especially tuesdays have been my late nights which i'm not complaining i'm so grateful to be busy and booked because for a while there i was working really hard to regrow my clientele very grateful that my clientele is growing more and more by the week and i've been doing really well but being at the salon until nine o'clock or later 
like the one night I literally left there at 10 30. Once in a while those days are fine but they've just been a little bit too regular for me so I'm hoping tonight won't be one of those nights but we'll see. So my first client I did her hair a couple months ago so she's coming in for a refresh and she gets a full head of highlights so that should be easy enough. She does have a lot of hair from what I remember but it hasn't been that long since her last appointment so she shouldn't have too much growth and then my second client is gonna be new and she sent me photos of her hair but it's a little bit tricky until i see it in person i'm not 100 percent sure what we're going to need to do either way it shouldn't be anything too crazy I'm trying to decide what i want to do with my hair because <laughs> i washed it last night and I went to sleep with it wet. I didn't even put any product in it or anything. As a hairdresser, I know better. It's a mess. I could re-wet it and put some product in it and just let it air dry and wear it down and curly. Or I could just pull it back in a bun. Let me put my outfit on first and then I'll see what I feel like doing. So this is the outfit and you see obviously like it just looks odd with the shirt like this. So what I'm gonna do is Fold up the bottom and then I'm going to pull it back and make a little ponytail and I'm just using a hair tie to do that. And then underneath this I'm wearing like a bralette. So I mean this could work with a regular bra too I guess. So I'm going to tuck this ponytail up into the back of the bralette and now it makes the top cropped and a little more fitted but it's still like boxy and loose and it's just like a nice balance with the fitted skirt. I've been wanting to try out this new product that I showed you guys in my last vlog so let's just do it and I'm also curious to see like this will be my first time wearing my hair naturally curly since I changed the color so I'm going to wet it first and then squeeze out the excess so that it's not completely dripping wet. So this is the Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. It says after shampooing or wetting hair, remove excess moisture, comb if desired, spray hair liberally section by section until soaked, making sure to spray underneath section. Air dry or blow dry using a diffuser. And I'm probably just gonna let it air dry. This says that it's supposed to replace sticky gels and serums and heavy creams and all that kind of stuff. It's supposed to give you frizz-free curls. I'm just going to flip my head upside down and kind of shake it out a little bit and just give it a little bit of a, just kind of like push it up and scrunch it a little bit. I'll just drive with the windows down, so hopefully by the time I get to the salon, it will be mostly dry. I'm going to just do these chunky hoops from Amazon. I just need to decide on a perfume today. What kind of mood am I in? Yeah, I'm going to go back with my OG favorite, Embry Saffron. I actually haven't worn this one in a little while. I literally wore this perfume on an almost daily basis for two years straight and it's just so good it's like warm sweet sexy it's just amazing and dossier is sponsoring a portion of this vlog thank you so much to them for working with me they have been a long time supporter of my channel and it really means a lot to me and i really do love their products i have a bunch of their perfumes it's pretty much all i wear i also have their home fragrances in my apartment their reed diffusers, their candles. So what they do is they make replicas of well-known brand name designer fragrances at a fraction of the price. They put it in simpler packaging, just give it a different name, but you are getting the same scent, the same high quality, the same lasting power. So this one that I always rave about is the Ambery Saffron. This is a replica of the Baccarat Rouge 540. So to give you an example, the original of that retails for like 
I've seen between like two and three hundred dollars like in that price range but the dossier version is forty nine dollars and their fragrances start at twenty nine so if there's a particular fragrance you love that you always repurchase but you feel like it's you know gets pretty expensive see if dossier has a replica of it because i'm telling you you're gonna get the exact same thing but you're gonna pay so much less money like i said they also have re-diffusers and candles so if you want your home to smell good they have options for that as well they have perfumes colognes unisex fragrances definitely check out dossier i have a discount code that you guys can use so check the description for my link and code. And thank you so much Dossier for continuing to support my channel. Let me show you the final look. And don't mind the mess behind me. I feel like I said that in another vlog recently too. Like I said, I've had a lot going on behind the scenes, so keeping my apartment tidy has just kind of fallen to the back burner. So here is the outfit all put together. I'm liking it, it's comfy. I feel cute and I'm very excited to see what my hair is going to look like when it air dries. The only thing that's kind of unfortunate is you do have to soak your hair with the product. So now it's like dripping wet again, but it should air dry pretty fast. I will show you what it looks like later and show you the clients that I do. So client number one's hair still looked really good. She just wanted to brighten it up a little bit around her face. So I just did a partial foil and this was her finished hair. And then my second client, she has a lot of gray. She's like almost 100% gray, but she likes having dark hair still. So I did kind of like a reverse baby light in a way. I did baby lights, but I did a dark color and I just kind of am using her gray as her highlights. This way, it'll still grow out a little bit softer um, and she'll be able to keep that dark color on her ends. It's many hours later. I got home a little while ago and heated up some leftovers, immediately changed into my robe and got comfy. I wanted to show you my hair though. I went really heavy with the bleach on the front pieces here so these like they're like basically straight <laughs> so we're gonna ignore that I'm gonna do some Olaplex treatments and just continue being really gentle with it and the curls should bounce back eventually but if you look like in the back here where I have less highlights they're tighter So I wasn't sure how I felt about that spray at first because when it first started drying, it felt a little bit crunchy to me. But now that it's like completely 100% dry, it actually feels really good. Like it has definition, but it doesn't feel crunchy anymore. Like now it feels pretty soft. My curls have seen better days, but it's just honestly, cause like even before I did this balayage, when I had the copper hair, I had bleached my hair at least two separate times from root to end. So it's just, you know, when you bleach your hair, it kind of messes with your curl pattern. But anyway, my clients went really well. I'm sorry I didn't get many clips today. I was just trying to like get through. It was a really good smooth day. I was able to clean as I go, which I love. I was even able to have a little bit of a lunch break. So even though I was there till about eight o'clock, I didn't start till one, so it's just a nice seven hour day, which is perfect. But I am going to wash my face and get ready for bed soon. I am going back to the salon in the morning, so I will see you then. Today is definitely gonna be a hat day. Today should also be a pretty smooth, easy day. It's funny, like the days that are just normal days where I'm just doing like normal appointments and not huge big transformations or color corrections I'm like oh, it's gonna be a nice easy day but it'll be probably like a seven hour day again I'm gonna put these hoops in today these ones are from Ana Luisa so are the little huggies I have in too these are just like a little bit bigger than the ones I wore yesterday. I've been trying to be better about accessorizing a little bit more because I love jewelry and I, I have a lot of it. 
I feel like usually when I'm just kind of like rushing to get ready to go to work, I just don't even think to go all out with the jewelry. I forgot yesterday I didn't even wear my smart ring, so it didn't even track all of my activity. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to be better about like, at least, you know, throw on some earrings or a necklace or something. Just put a little more effort into my outfits. Here is the outfit for the day. This dress is from Shein. This shirt is from Bass, I think. It's a men's shirt. I've, again, I've had it forever. And actually, there are some color stains on the sleeves because I wear this to work a lot. Sneakers are New Balance. Adidas hat. That's the fit. I will see you at the salon. So I didn't end up getting any clips of my first client. She actually wore a hijab. So I figured posting clips of her hair on the internet probably wouldn't have been appropriate. But this was client number two. We just did a blonde refresh and some curtain bangs. Taking some allergy medicine. It's just that time of the year. Today is going to be a very productive day. It's a work from home day, which is also going to be kind of like my catch up on stuff around the apartment. So first things first, I am gonna go get dressed. Gonna take Benny out for a walk. Then I'm gonna take him. My apartment complex has a pet wash station, which is so nice. I give him a bath because he is due for one. He is starting to stink. And then come back here, throw on a podcast or something, and just get cleaning done. I need to strip my bed sheets and wash those. I have a lot of laundry that's been piling up. And I need to clean the kitchen. Like, it is a freaking mess in here. Then I have computer work I need to do. I have a video that I need to finish editing. It's like halfway done. And there is a brand sponsorship in that. So that needs to go up sometime before the end of the day you know when you're just like so busy with work and then everything else in your life kind of falls to the back burner and you just feel like ugh, I, like i hate having a messy home so i'm just i'm excited to finally like have the time to get the stuff done that i've been having to put off so yeah i'm gonna go get dressed and start our day very good boy Okay, go ahead. a little while later i just finished cleaning the kitchen all that i still have to do in here is clean the floors but dishes are all done i have the dishwasher running cleaned all the countertops and everything and i also watered my plants i repotted this one this poor thing it was thriving for the longest time i've had it for years now and i just didn't take the best care of it during all the traveling i was doing like around the holidays and stuff and it has just not recovered so 
It had a bunch of dying, broken stems on it that I had to cut off. So this is what we're left with, just these little nubs. But I think the roots are still okay. So I repotted it, kind of loosened up the roots a little bit, put it in a slightly larger pot, not too much bigger. So hopefully it won't go into shock and gave it a good watering. And it's really hot and humid out today. So hopefully that will help it. But I'm glad that I finally did that because that is one of those things I've been putting off for months now so we will see i'm really hoping i can save it but i made these peanut butter banana oatmeal bars i came across the recipe on instagram and i had a few bananas that are like overly ripe and normally i would make banana bread with them but i thought this would be a little different sounded interesting it was so fast and easy mm, it feels like it still could use a little bit of time to cool but i'm starving right now i haven't eaten anything yet so this is gonna be my breakfast, but it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I did not end up blow drying my hair last night. I was getting really tired and didn't really feel like it, but also I was like, you know, I feel like I kind of want, I'm probably, it's, this is probably so annoying because I feel like I've been doing a lot to my hair the last couple of months. <laughs> and some of you guys are probably like, oh my God, just leave it alone. Like you're doing something again. I just want to tone it because the toner I did when I originally did this balayage, like color correction situation to my hair was a really cool toned level eight. And my hair didn't lift perfectly even all over. So some places really got like super light and ashy and then other places not so much. So I think I just want to tone it down a little bit to more of like a caramel color, like a more of a, a light brown just so that way everything will be more even because right now there's just so many different colors happening in my hair i like having the dimension but i just don't want like so many different colors because i feel like it's just looking like a hot mess to me right now i'm just gonna do that while i'm at the salon it's gonna be a really easy like quiet chill day because most of the girls are doing a wedding today and it's gonna just be my two friends and they are doing each other's hair I don't even know if they're taking any clients. And then I have two clients, but they should both be pretty simple. The first one, I've done her hair already, which I'm really excited to see what her hair looks like. When she first came to me several months ago, she had just been getting like a really heavy, kind of solid full foil and it was really high maintenance. And when her roots would grow out, cause she has naturally pretty dark hair, there would be a pretty distinct grow out line so she wanted something that was going to be more blended and low maintenance so i did a full head of highlights with low lights to blur that line out and it looked beautiful but i'm always so curious to see what the hair looks like months later because that tells you everything because when you're trying to do like low maintenance lived in color yes of course you want it to be beautiful when it's freshly done but the way it looks a couple months later is just as important because the goal is you want it to look good even when it's grown out. She said that she just wants to touch up like her face frame and then do a toner, which is perfect. Like ideally that was the goal we were working towards was that she would only have to do like a full head refresh maybe a couple times a year and then just do like little small touch-ups in between. So that should be pretty easy. And then my second client is new. She booked through the salon, so I have no idea what her hair looks like and what exactly her goal is, but she is booked for an all over solid root to end color. So let's hope that she was booked correctly and that that's all she's getting is just a single solid color because that's nice and easy. And then once I'm done with my clients, I will see if one of my friends can just throw a toner on my hair for me. If not, I can just do it myself. Here is my outfit for the day. I feel kind of just blah about it, but whatever. This tank top is actually a bodysuit. It is, I want to say from H&M or Forever 21. I've had it forever. 
These jeans are H&M. I love them so much. They are my favorite. This flannel I've had forever. I think I got it at Walmart, actually. Oh, no. This one I think is from Kohl's. From the men's department and then these shoes are from target so i will see you at the salon been so bad about vlogging when I'm at the salon. I was just in the zone today. It was a quick, easy day. Was on time with everything. And I love that. And I was able to just clean as I go. Like it was a very chill, easy day. And I had one of my coworkers throw a toner on my hair for me. But I am starving because I haven't eaten since breakfast and it is now four o'clock. So I am heading home. And I'm just gonna blow dry my hair at home so I will show you how it looks once it's dry. Okay, here is my hair. I can't find the right lighting to show you, so we might have to wait till the morning when I can show you natural light because now the sun is almost set. In person, it looks so pretty. This is exactly what I was hoping for, what I described, like wanting to kind of like just tone everything down, not try to fight the warmth as much. And I feel like in turn, even though like I toned it warmer, it looks overall cooler because it's darker and because I'm not trying to fight against and like contrast against the little bit of copper that's still kind of in there. So yeah, oh, I love it. It's just so soft and pretty. But I did Redken Shade ZQ, mostly 7NW. And I added a little bit of 7NCH and a little drop of 7G. Good morning. I'm so excited. I just signed something. Very, very exciting. It's Saturday morning. I'm getting ready to go to the salon. Today I have two clients again. Two have been kind of like my sweet spot, especially when they are full colors. Because for a full color appointment, depending on what I'm doing and how much hair the person has, those typically take me around three to three and a half hours, sometimes even four, if the person has a lot of hair. We're doing a haircut and styling and like all that kind of stuff after two. And when you're just single booking and not working with an assistant, you really only have time to do like two people. So my first one, I did her hair several months ago. She had completely virgin hair and I made her a really beautiful blended soft blonde. So she's coming in for a refresh. I think we're just gonna bring everything up a little bit higher. And then my second client, I've never done her hair before, but I have known her for a while and she's actually my neighbor. And I know she's just been wanting an all over copper color. She said she loved my copper hair and that is pretty close to what she wants. So it should be a pretty low stress day. And I think only one other hairstylist is gonna be there. The rest of them are all doing a wedding today. So I'm gonna have a lot of space to myself and it'll be a little more quiet. Cause that's the thing, I get very overstimulated when there's these super bright artificial lights on and there's a lot of people in the room and everybody's talking and the blow dryers are going and the music is blasting and it's just so loud and there's just so much happening and so much to take in it's like <sighs> so the days when it's like nice and quiet and chill and not a lot of people are there I love it like that's the kind of environment I thrive in. Because honestly, the days when it's like so loud in there, I can't even hear the client that's sitting right in front of me. And then I feel bad because like they're trying to talk to me and I'm like, what? What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? Can't hear a single word you're saying. So yeah, today's going to be a good day. Oh, but let me show you my hair so you can see the dimension, but it's just a lot softer and the highlights don't contrast as much. Because I'm doing that red color, that could get messy and I don't want to risk staining my clothes. So I'm just going to wear this black t-shirt dress 
put some bike shorts underneath it and I'm either gonna do black sneakers or my black cowboy boots I don't know I'll see which one I'm feeling more okay here is the outfit super casual and comfy I decided to go with sneakers I gotta head out of here though so I will see you at the salon So this was my first client's hair before. As you can see, it was quite grown out and her blonde wasn't as bright. So the goal was to just make her super bright and blonde and bring everything up higher. So I did a full head of foils, just leaving a little bit of her hair out in between just to keep some dimension because she said she didn't want the ends to be super solid. And this was her hair when it was processing. You can see she's got a lot of hair. And I just did a toner. I believe we also did a trim. And then, unfortunately, I didn't get any after clips of her hair because she had to run out for a business call before we could finish blow drying it and all that. But this was client number two's hair before. And like I said, she just wanted to be an all-over copper. So this was her hair after so beautiful she was obsessed I was obsessed and I forgot to get an outro clip so that is going to be it for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in a couple days with a new video bye